What's a harsh reality that everybody needs to hear? Number 1. Children's first bullies are often their parents. Number 2. Your life can be changed forever in the blink of an eye. You have to deal with it or die. I'm 62. I went to run errands one day with my beautiful wife of 42 years and I came home two hours later a widower. She died of a massive heart attack in the passenger seat. That was about 13 months ago, it's been hard, but I'm still here thanks to some wonderful people in my life. Number 3. It won't just happen. I spent a lot of my early 20s being sad and defeatist, feeling sorry for myself. I always coped with this by telling myself that I'd make something of myself eventually, and meet a woman eventually, and be happy eventually. The truth is, eventually doesn't come if you don't make it come. Improvement has to be proactive. You can end up 40 years old, living with your parents, playing video games all day, and with no motivation. Nothing will prevent that from happening other than you. Number 4. Whatever you say can and will be used against you. Number 5. Physical appearance matters. Almost everyone is shallow, and if you were ugly, people might treat you as inferior and you will have disadvantages in almost every aspects of life, for example pretty privilege or halo effect, look that up. As an ugly person I confirm. Number 6. Some people will hurt you, and they won't care how you feel about it. Number 7. Just because you go out of your way for people, it doesn't mean they will do the same for you. Edit. I didn't expect this comment to get so many upvotes and replies as it has. For those calling me out saying, I shouldn't expect anything back or I'm selfish that. I don't go out of my way to help others without expecting anything in return. That's not what my comment said. All I'm saying is, be careful who you drop everything for. Number 8. Life is not automatically easier just because you're a good person. Number 9. You can love someone with all of your heart and not be loved back in the same way. Number 10. Bad things can happen to good people. Good things can happen to bad people. It's unfair. It's life. Number 11. Not everyone likes you. Some people won't like you for very arbitrary reasons, or for no reason at all. It takes way too much of your energy trying to make people like you. Use that energy on yourself and your loved ones. It's a life lesson I learned much later than I could have. Number 12. It's a Star Trek reference, but it's a very realistic one. It is possible to make no mistake, and still lose. That is not a weakness, that is life. Sometimes you need to accept you did everything within your power right and it still went bad. And remember that this isn't something to beat yourself up over. These things happen. Number 13. You don't realize the good, best times as they are happening. I have absolutely known when I was living in the good times, and it broke my heart. I wanted to stop time, and live there forever, and I couldn't. I tried to just be grateful. Number 14. Nobody is coming to save you. You have to do it yourself. Number 15. Sometimes you're the bad guy. This one and I think it has a sister. Just because you're pissed off, doesn't mean it's someone else's fault. Sometimes you're just being an unreasonable fudge face. Don't sweat it, it happens to all of us. But if you keep telling the story where the other person is the bad guy, you probably never learn a lesson and stop acting like an unreasonable fudge face. Number 16. You can become disabled unexpectedly at any point in your life. Make sure you're taking advantage of the abilities you have while you have them. Number 17. This one is both harsh and comforting. People don't think about you as much as you think they do. That means that your feelings might be ignored or not considered, people will forget things about you and might not remember things you've done together that were very memorable for you. That can be hard to realize. On the other hand, they probably don't remember that embarrassing thing you did in high school, or they don't care about it, they notice patterns of behaviors, more than occasional bad days that you have. So those times you feel bad about being off with someone, they probably don't think about them, unless they become frequent. Personally I find that comforting. Number 18. I thought I'd be happy when I graduated college, or when I got my first apartment, or when I bought my first home. Don't expect happiness to be at the finish line. Happiness comes from yourself, in the now. Enjoy the process. Number 19. Nobody cares. So just go for it, everyone's busy with themselves to pay too much attention to what you are doing. Number 20. Your trauma is not your fault but it is your responsibility. Also that shared trauma is not a good foundation for a relationship. Number 21. You don't have as many friends or family as you think. I have a chronic illness, and the number of people who bailed on me during my hardest times only to pop up, surprised I was upset with them, once I started healing is truly disgusting. You've got a core few. 
Nurture those relationships like your life depends on it. Mine does. Number 22. For most of us work is a business transaction. You're trading your time for money. Your employer isn't your friend, father or mother, they owe you what they promise to give you in exchange for your time. That's it. If your work isn't fulfilling or making you happy, either spend your free time making yourself happy or work somewhere else. The few people who live in wealthiest countries in the world still struggle to find happiness. Stop wanting what other people have because it looks like it makes them happy. They aren't any happier or better than you because they have things. Finally, while these facts suck for most of us, the sooner you internalize them and shift your values, the better you will be. Number 23. You can do everything right and still fail. And the alternative is you can fudge everything up but still turn out just fine. Number 24. You can be the best employee in company, but when illness comes, like cancer, they will change you with fresh meat. P.S. Personal experience. Edit. Okay okay, 85% of time I know that there is some good companies, but majority don't care about you. Business is business. Number 25. The world does not owe you understanding. If you have traumas and mental health issues, it is not everyone else's job to tiptoe around you and tolerate bad behavior you refuse to address for yourself. Number 26. When you've been married for 8 years and all of a sudden your wife wants an open marriage, it means she's already cheating on you but doesn't want to feel bad about it. Same with people who want to go on a break. They already have someone in mind at the very least, if they're not already fudging. What was your favorite story? Let us know in the comments or share your own. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one.